Hello and welcome! This is I Seen You Before playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2, the Voyage Home in the Pirate Islands. So, right now, we're able to actually deal with the enemy a tiny bit. So, I think what would be the best thing to do would be to hurt to this desert tent, get ourselves a few nomads if I remember correctly, that's what in there. Then we'll be able to hopefully deal with whatever enemies we're facing here at the moment. So, that's it, let's hope for the best. Meanwhile, in the castle right there, I probably want to recruit... Nah, there's nothing much to do in the castle actually. I'm just gonna end my turn right there. Take this. Um, probably want some... I get some XP. Hmm, maybe some, some gold actually. Yeah, I get the gold instead. Put those two weapons back together. Get the sulfur. And head off to get the nomad tent right there. Yeah, it was a good idea to get the gold. We got this amount of money we needed to recruit them. Meanwhile, it seems that those two are gonna be handy. So I might need to send my hero back to town to get ourselves um, a mage guild level 2 maybe. It should definitely be affordable, yeah, it should be affordable. I'll send the hero back to town and then just get ourselves a mage guild. I know there's medusas in here. I forgot that if, um, attacking the medusa will get us, like, or going there. I forgot it will, if uh, medusas will attack us or not. Otherwise, this place has the potential to make us a lot of gold. The only problem is that it's guarded by a lot of ghosts, which is one of the most overpowered units in the whole of Heroes of Might and Magic 2. I'll show you in a tiny bit why. Just no, 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 we're broke. This cannot be. I do want to get uh, those gold mines, because it's gonna help us eventually get the Black Dragon. An old seaman tells you of a t no. An old seaman tells you a tale of an enchanted masthead that he used in his youth to rally his crew during the times of trouble. He then hands to you a faded map that shows where he hid it. After much exploring, you find it stashed underneath a nearby duck. The masthead boosts your luck and morale by one in each sea combat. By one each in sea combat. Sorry, kinda just woke up. I'm a bit groggy, so kinda make no sense what I just said. Alright, so just get the sulfur for now. And probably get here and see what's our next objective. This spot seems to give us access to uh, water elementals. Here, I believe, we'll be fighting a lot of undead. And here, you might end up fighting a troll if I remember everything correctly. Over there, there's even more treasure chest and the possibility to get even more undead, so... Me, well, not undead, water elemental. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna just drink some tea and I'll probably wake up a bit. So, I think what we should do next is probably get back to our boat and help our hero ferry troops around. I do want to take over this island from the ghost so we have um, a reasonable amount of gold because that's what it seems like. If we can get good enough gold income, we'll be able to recruit nomads and whatsoever water elementals that we come across and then we'll have to we'll spend less time returning back home basically. So I think let us immediately head back home with our hero since he needs to get a spell book anyways. Also, look at all those um, sirens right there. Hmm. Yeah, might actually send this guy to talk to the sirens and get whatever, whatever is over there, which might be handy for us. Otherwise here, I should probably get a mage guild level 2 for our hero. Since all we have here is magic arrow and dispel magic, it's kind of useless for a knight hero that we have. Galavant is a knight hero, so he's not making big use of those. Having steel skin and lightning bolt on the other hand, is gonna be handy because we do have the lightning rod right now correct yeah with this lightning rod we might do an easier job of those um annoying ghosts basically which i hope is what will actually happen by the end of all of us so i am going to send this guy on a boat 
and went to all those mermaids and sea chests to gather all the treasures there. Meanwhile, I'm going to send him back home to get himself more units as well as um, his spell book. Let's see. We could technically build the Hydra's nest here, but I think the Hydra's gonna be too slow and there's not gonna be enough of them to be significant. Actually, he could repair, he could replace either the Swordsman or the Gargoyle, now that I'm thinking of it. Probably the Swordsman by now. Okay, so just send this guy over and just go to this spot. I think it just gives morale here, yeah. Blah 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 blah, blah. come on, on course, increasing their morale, okay. I probably want to check with those mermaids if you get us anything useful. We should be careful because um, I believe they split your units by half because some of them just end up going and dying to their deaths, you know, because chicks and stuff. So we now have Cold Ray Steel Skin Lightning Bolt added to our spell book, including all the level 1 spells. Ah, Galavan has quite a large forehead. Anyways, mm, I could potentially just wait here one turn and get uh, get ourselves for what we need basically. Let's just do that, wait here one turn, get those things, which is usually when you forget about your own mode when you make the increase your life. What? I thought they, they, they made me go insane and stuff. Oh, we did find gold here. Ah, oh, that's crazy. They usually... I thought mermaids stole your units. Eh, well I guess I was completely wrong. I guess I might send Galavant here later to get, um, let's see. Yeah, to get bonus luck and bonus morale before we go kill this ghost, because it's gonna hurt otherwise. Like those units are really strong, that's what I can remember. Let's see, let's build up a Hydra. Yeah, yeah let's build up Hydras right there. And we can't upgrade Hydras, yeah, I remember. Two of them is gonna be handy, so let's get two. They're already strong, yeah, way stronger than the Swordsman, who's at 30 HP. Five of them. There's two of them, which is 150, so it's an equivalent, but they have way higher damage and way higher attack skill, so I'm just gonna grab those guys for now. Yeah, just grab those guys for now. Maybe, maybe wait a week, I'm not too sure. Might be worth it, might not be worth it. I definitely want to grab all the griffins, which we are of course broke once again. I'm just gonna wait. Probably wait a week before we go and try to kill this ghost right now. Get whatever's in the flood sum over there. Nothing. Um Can we send this guy around and check whatever is around? And one of those beauties and then there's his reefs and then yeah, let's get all those flood sums. Let's see. Get uh, those leftover griffins right there. Was leftover goggles and probably the, the centaurs too. Yeah, the centaurs will definitely not fight the ghosts. That's how you die, basically. Fighting ghosts with level one units is a sure way of dying, and we don't want that. We do find a lot of wood. This is insane, actually. Okay, just get uh, the leftover centaurs right there. Mm, this is currently day 6. Huh, I think I should probably be moving forward, but I'm not let's, I'm not actually going to wait. Because I, I don't want to face those ghosts with... Uh, uh oh. Here's an enemy, enemy hero right there. Ah, he's pretty weak. That's crack hack. More wood. Nothing. More wood and some gold. Nothing around here. Okay, so let's just head back down. Probably get this guy. Let's see, do we missing anyone? No, we have most most of everything right there, so that's good. I am just going to wait one more turn and get all the recruits right now. Uh oh. No. He's gonna go in and steal my stuff. I can't stop him right now. Damn it. I, I should have just moved in. When I thought I could, yeah, instead of just waiting like a knob. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. We took the most important units. 
he can probably let's let's see let's explore a tiny bit more. Ah, a message in the bottle. You find a note in the bottle. It reads, "My ship has been wrecked by the notorious pirates in this area. I'm stranded on a small and barren island, and I beg of you, please come and rescue me." So I guess that guy's probably somewhere around, maybe here. I think he's gonna go ahead and recruit those uh, water elementals, which is not gonna be too awesome. Yeah, he did. He did, right? Yeah, he recruited a pack of them. Meh, annoying guy. Recruiting my water elementals. Okay, I'm gonna probably head over there and try to see if I can go in and kill him. You keep on exploring so we know what's going on here. Nothing. 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 Alright. Where are you going? I know you get stuck now. You're stuck now. I'm just gonna hit that. Then I'll probably go after you. Just, uh, I wanna get rid of you. Because you took my gold. And I should probably get some XP by killing you now. Ah. Oh. The tree of knowledge here. Where are you going? Oh, so you want to just be there, huh? What's a bad idea, buddy? That's actually a horrible idea because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and kill you. You can't move anymore. Don't move. Just here's some wood. I think uh, this week spawned a lot of liches all over the place, which is kind of horrible. Got some more. I could potentially just recruit another warlock. Yeah, I'll just do that. Recruit another warlock. Get him another boat. Probably get him to carry units and ferry troops around to us. Yeah. yeah I'll just do that. On the next turn. Hey. Hey, you come back here. Hey, you. Oh no, I think he runs faster than I do, because I have a Hydra with me, so it, it slows me down quite a bit. Ah, uh, alright, alright, whatever. I'm just gonna keep exploring and stuff. Let's see... Hmm... Uh-oh. We're probably gonna die now. Well, goodbye Ari. Was good knowing you. Let's see, from there, we want to grab all those gargoyles. And jump on this boat. Head towards our main hero. Yeah. There's no way we can survive this. So I'm just gonna simply retreat right away. Can I kill? I can't do that. That's so annoying. Jesus Christ. Stop moving now, please. Um, I'm allowed day six, so that's fine. I might send this guy on a run to recruit whatever we might be missing. Huh, I might get the sorceress. Do we have no we can get sorceresses? Hey Ari's back. Yeah, maybe we could just grab Ari again. Yeah. Yeah, just leave him there for now. Probably get him a boat on next turn or something. That guy moves so fast, this is insane. Where are you gonna go now, buddy? You're stuck. I'm going to kill you now. Yeah, okay. Grab those nomads right there. Probably wanna get Arya boat next turn. That is next turn, not this turn. So that's good. How do you run? So fast, man. This is insane. I actually lost so many turns here, but um, yeah, whatever. We're actually losing a lot of turns <laughs> just trying to run behind this guy. Probably what what's going on is that um, this Hydra is slowing me off a lot, and he probably has advanced buff finding all logistics, so I'm not too sure myself. That's one thing I never really like in Heroes of Might and Magic is that sometimes you end up just playing hide and seek, which is um slows you down a bit. And might might look boring to you guys too, so I apologize for this. You just wouldn't install all my shit. Asshole. Huh. 
Whatever. Okay, just get some nomads here. Some of the nomads there. Okay. And I'm guessing here it's starting to... Yeah, the ghosts are growing in the meantime. That's not actually too good for us. But uh, what we want to do is now recruit the high HP people, which is the Griffin and the Hydra. Too bad we don't have Minotaurs yet. And maybe maybe the Gorgles up to some extent, because they, they do have quite high defense. It's not going to be good to fight the ghosts though. Oh, he's back. Are you going to try to kill me now? Because you have lots of elementals. Maybe I'm just going to save because I don't want to load the game <laughs> and attack you. Oh god, he has quite a lot of elementals, that's not good. So screw that elemental. Oh wow, he didn't even get any damage, that's not cool at all. That's actually pretty not cool. Okay, I guess the best way to do things right now would be to simply take some time and things there. probably want to shoot at this guy and now we'll just we're going to try to kill this guy and then oh wow he's so slow we will probably try to kill this guy now I'll just go in and get hurt by this guy hit this guy since he retaliated already and shoot at this water elemental. Man, it deals so much goddamn damage. Hmm. It's kind of pointless, but whatever. Oh, Hydra is so slow. So much fucking damage. This is insane. He got all the goddamn water elementals. Now he's gonna be annoying as fuck to kill and shit. Okay, I think I might have lost this map. I might need to be no reload it. The trick of this map is to not let him get the water elementals. Oh man. Yeah, the trick to this map is to not let him get the water elementals. I Reloading won't really help me, I believe, so... Oh, we're even out of ammo? Is it possible to... Yes, it's possible to get out of ammo. Okay, I guess we lost. Yeah, we lost this battle. Damn it. Ah. Oh, this is actually a bit harder than I thought. I thought you could do it in one run. But I don't think you can do such a thing. So... We're probably gonna restart the whole map now that I have a better idea of what to do. We will be rushing straight for those water elementals and just recruit them. And then we will just clean out the ghosts, get the gold. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I'll probably avoid using the Hydra until I've built up enough of them because they slow me down a tiny bit too much. So let's actually, um, I believe... I do have a save game as Voy1, which is right there. Yeah, yeah, we know all of that stuff. I might actually grab basic navigation this time, since we do need to navigate all the goddamn time, so... I am actually gonna grab basic navigation. Okay, so... I am going to take a small break right there. We'll start the ep next episode anew, afresh. And... We'll get those goddamn pirates that keep bringing us down. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone, hope you guys like the series, like this video if you are enjoying this, and I'll see you soon.